we reported the results of the clinical trial and named the CreateX, where we compared the uh, standard treatment and the capsaicin treatment plus standard uh, the, in the, in the, for the patient who would have the residual disease after new adjuvant chemotherapy. So, so the, these patients are basically poor prognostic, the higher uh, discovery recurrence. So that uh, um, um, we just would like, we wanted to see how the um, capsaicin treatment is effective uh, to improve the survival outcomes. Actually, the um, Hatsu negative patients, Hatsu negative patients, the luminal disease, the hormone receptor positive, and the triple negative patients were included in. Um, that's a big question. And uh, the after new adjuvant chemotherapy with ansocycline and the taxan, still we have not so many, but not so small. We have some patients who would, wouldn't have the PCR. So that's the uh, potentially they are resistance to ansocycline and the taxan. And the capsaicin is non-cross resistant agent. So that we chose the capsaicin in this particular trial. Outer camps and the disease-free survival was end point, and the it was the big difference the in terms of the disease-free survival. It's a favor for the capsaicin. Presumably, um, it's uh, possible to think about as a therapeutic option for such patient having the high risk for recurrence after new adjuvant chemotherapy. We have some limitations about the reimbursement in each country. So that's the, I cannot say it is quite possible, but it can be in a possible option for such patients. In terms of the overall survival outcome, it was also significantly different. So that's the capsaicin treatment is able to prolong the disease-free survival, but also overall survival. That is a um, big outcome of this trial. And also, almost in all subgroups, we could see the benefit of a capsaicin. That's uh, um, another important aspect of the capsaicin treatment.